how to use change set in a Jenkins pipeline. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.414.1. Also on this controller, I've already set up a sample job. Before we take a look at the job, let's take a look at the documentation for change set. And what change set gives us the ability to do is to execute a stage if the build's SCM change set contains one or more files matching the given pattern. For the example that's shown here, we can say when change set is any file that's ending in JS within the repository. So if we had a hello.js and a change happened to that file, then the stage associated with this win statement would go ahead and be executed. Now let's go take a look at our sample repository that we're using today. If we take a look at the change set branch here, I have a Jenkins file of Jenkins file dash change set. What we see here is we have three stages. We have the initial stage for hello, the second stage only for the change set. And what we're gonna be looking for is any changes made to a readme.md file. And then finally, we have the final stage. So let's go ahead and go back over to the controller and take a look at the job as it's set up. We've already ran it a couple of times, but let's take a look at the final run. And what we'll see here is we see our echo hello, then we get into warning, empty change log. Have you run the checkout? We'll see that in just a moment. So at this point in time, the stage is being skipped due to the win conditional because it did not see any changes to readme.md. And then lastly, we have our final stage. So let's go ahead and go back over into our repository. We're gonna make a change to our readme.md file. We'll make a change with the edit here and we'll call this readme3. We'll go ahead and commit the changes. We'll commit directly to the change set branch. And let's go back over to our controller and let's run the build for the change set job. So if we click on build now, we'll go ahead and go into the job. We'll see echo hello. We'll see that echo readme was updated. And then finally, we see our final stage was echoed out. So let's go ahead and go back into the repository, make a change to any other file but the readme. So we'll go over here. We'll click on a repository. Let's make a change to our pomxml. We'll edit this file and we'll remove this comment. Click on commit changes, and then let's go back over into our job, run build now. And what we'll see from build number four, how it will look differently from build number two, is we'll get down into the second stage, but we can see here that it was not as verbose because it said there was no changes found. Well, in this case, it saw a change, but the change wasn't associated with readme.md. Therefore, that stage is skipped. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.